halfway through B-Varsity Live's State Track Championship preview special. Zach Feels Coon, weird that we're not leaving the studio right now, but I love it. Do you? Do yeah. you know? You know what else I love? The fact that we have three Valley champions in the studio right now, all throwers. Greg Richardson from Shaffer, you're the state champion in the boys' shot put. And uh, Alyssa Klinger from Shaffer, you're shot, shot put champion. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Alicia Viveros from Liberty was the discus champion Sorry, I put discus in, on the, in the Valley. So, uh, guys, congratulations on all the accomplishments so far. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, let's talk a little throwing, shall we? I mean, this is a Kern County tradition now. you got to have the throwers. It wouldn't feel the same without them. How much, <laughs> how much do you uh, – you know, obviously, you, you Shafter guys have – Matt Godby here is your coach. You see Don yeah. Dummel from time to time. Uh, so, so you see the tradition every day of Kern County throwing, but do you feel that? Do you feel – and, Alicia, same question for you. I mean, all the great throwers that came before you in Kern County, do you know the history? Oh, man, it, it's been going on for – long time i mean absolutely uh what do you think do you know a lot i mean i know get right, on, get right mic, on those right? mics too oh yeah oh. um i don't know that much but i know <laughs> it's good yeah. yeah i know it's good yeah. i just i hear it like every single day um so many like great athletes have come through and i've actually like gone to track needs to watch them when i was younger yeah so it's just amazing to that, see them that's awesome their steps. who do you remember seeing when you were um, Alex Kolatz okay. and Anna Jalmini. Yeah, and, Anna and, and Alex, of course, two of the best. And, yeah. um, They're amazing. Yeah. Makes I me just feel spent old. some time this weekend with one of them, too, Missy Favis, at a Centennial 2004 state There champ. you go. But see, yeah. it makes me feel old because I was here covering Anna and Alex, and you were like eight years old or something. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. But that, that's, that's the way of things. Um, th- one of the things about field events, and I think this is in particular for throwing, maybe, maybe long triple jumping, too, but... I mean, you really it, – it's all about finding the one big throw. It, if you do that, and obviously you want to have a good series and you want to be consistent and everything, but, but the whole key to the event, it's your longest throw. So how much emphasis do you put on – I mean, how much focus do you put on each throw? Let's say you're in that shot put ring, Greg, and okay. um, you've really got to hone in. I mean, you have to block everything else out, and this, this is your opportunity to, to medal at state or to make the final or whatever it might exactly, be. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. What, what's your thought process? You know, I step into the ring. I try and you know yell or scream a little bit just to get myself amped up. And uh, you know, I hear the crowd as I walk in or whatever. I hear people saying, you know, yeah. you know, go or whatever, throw far. But as soon as I initiate the throw, everything just zones out. I can hear, I hear absolutely nothing. This you guy's know? got like documentary voice. I'm getting pumped <laughs> up. Here. This is oh, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. It's the beard. It's the voice. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's all of it. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, John. John just said you need to do like Civil War documentaries. When you, oh, that'd be cool. And, and then, the, then the Union Army went into Atlanta. Well, he can act it too with that Sherman. beard. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> dual purpose. I like. It. I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, Alyssa, how about you? Um, do you do you have that same level of focus in the discus ring? Do you, you almost have to. I mean, you have because it's all about yeah. that. Shot put. Those. Cu- <laughs> I'm sorry. Shot put. <laughs> Either way, discus or shot put, it's all about those couple of seconds. It's about yeah. how you rotate, about how you explode out of your legs, and, and and what kind of trajectory you get. Yeah, I think me and Greg, we're like totally opposites. I'm more of like a relaxed thrower. Like I don't get as much pumped up or as he does, but because I think if I stay more relaxed, things don't get to my head as much, and I just. I just think it works out for me better. I don't think about everything as much, I, th- I think. So you guys practice together. Yeah. Do you, do you ever get on each other's nerves because, hey, hey, I'm trying to focus, or, hey, how, why don't you lighten up? Or, or is it more of a yin and yang thing where you, you fit together better? I, I'd say it's more like that. Yeah. Okay. You know, we complement each other, and we, mm-hmm. you know, we, we, work out, we work well together. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good practices, yeah. you know. No, we, I don't think we've had a bad one probably no, we two, never, three months. I mean, good. We Even never argue anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> So Alicia, some people are going to argue. Some people are going to argue that I bet, though. Yeah. Right, <laughs> Alicia, you're going to be that one that's going to have to go out off to the side behind the, you know, the the, the guest, the the visiting team grandstands that throw in the discus. Um, did you know last year and then obviously two weeks ago prepare you for tomorrow and readying to get yourself, you know, ho- a hopeful into a Saturday also? Yeah, um, I've been trying just you know recently just have high intensity practices, not really worrying about the quantity of throws but more about the quality and I think um last year's meet in Valley it really helped me to prepare like to know how to like mentally get prepared and focused for a track meet and now I just take that into every meet and I go to the side sometimes to just try to like work on work out the kinks and just to get like the reps and the right and just figure it out a lot like Arcadia do you like having that big crowd there at Buchanan kind of watching you because you know normally you know you 
you're a half a mile away from the track at Liberty when you're competing. You like having that big crowd because you're so close? Yeah, the big crowd, you can really feel the intensity and the energy coming from them, even if it's not yelling, but just the presence of people in general. And the, also, like, the um, level of competition also, like, just really um, – it brings out the best in me, and I enjoy it because it pushes you to go further and just to try your best. Greg, Growers, we talked. Uh, sorry, yeah, Greg, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Having the shot put pit right there at the you know at the start line if you can, and the way it is, and you know the the edge of the crowd is all kind of there. Then you've got everybody on the berm. Talk to us about how exciting it is to be in the stadium and have the roar of the crowd there as you're throwing. You know, going into this meet, it's probably going to be nothing like I've thrown in before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I feed off the energy of the crowd and the throwers around me, so I'm looking to utilize all the uh, adrenaline that comes forth and, uh, you know, just throw far. Throwing, even though you guys, you're, you're not in the same school as these two, but you, you kind of have this fraternity, sorority, whatever you want to say, <laughs> uh, of, uh, of throwers. I mean, you're all, you're all friends. You talk about the yeah. same things. And, and uh, how... How much do you root for each other? I mean, you, obviously you're competing against each other in some of these events, but you want to see your friends do well too, right? Well, we, we mm -hmm. hang out with each other yeah. like every meet. Every right. meet we just yeah. talk to each other. It's That's more cool. of like, we don't really think of it as competing. We're just like trying to do our best to get better. For we, yourself. For and ourselves, then, yeah. yeah. It's more just like competing against ourselves, like trying to get ourselves better. I mean, we really like root for each other. Like, it's amazing just to see her like perform well, and it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. As Coach Godbeer says, you know, it's just us and a tape measure. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Is. Not to worry about go. the other people around us, and it's just us in a tape measure. Mm -hmm. That's what we're fighting. What's uh, how do you get into throwing? Is this is this somebody have to kind of kind of drag you kicking and screaming into it until you realize <laughs> what you're doing, or 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 did you like it from the get go? I mean, let's let's just go down the line. You know, kind of in in my situation, uh, I didn't even know what throwing was. Okay. You know, eighth grade, I think we, they had us throw discus one PE day, but then I wa I walked into high school, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to be a football player and a baseball player, and. Mm -hmm. uh, during a football practice, Coach Bender, John Bender, he's the shot put record holder at Shafter High. Right. Mm -hmm. He told me, you're not going to play baseball. You're going to throw. I'm like, no, I'm going to throw baseball, so I'm not yeah. going to throw shot puts. <laughs> and eventually one thing led to another, and I went to the Shafter Throws Clinic my freshman year. Okay. And uh, it was great. You know, I got to see all these phenomenal throwers and uh, you know, I fell in love with the sport. Ever since then, I just can't go away from it. It does sort of have that niche. I mean, it's sort of, if yeah. you know it, you love it. You know, I like the one-man sport deal. Yeah. You know, whatever, all the work I put in is the work I get out, and, you know, nothing really factors in except for my work. That's very cool. How about you, Alyssa? Um, well, I started younger. I started around, like, the fourth or fifth grade, and just a family friend um, told me that I should start going out because, like, I was always been taller and, like, like, built stronger, I guess, like, growing up. So he just told me I should go out and try it at RBG, Rio Bravo, mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with it and done it ever since. But. And, and Alicia, you said you were out watching these uh, Alex and, and Anna and those. The, so you obviously you started younger also. Yeah, I, my mom started me because both of my parents had thrown in high school. I mean, they weren't like um, elite throwers, but they had still thrown. They mm -hmm. enjoyed the sport. And so just when I was young in second or third grade, my parent, my mom, we had an extra shot put laying around because she used to coach at like the middle school, like shot put. So she would just take me out to like the closest park and then she'd just teach me the basics, like how to throw. And then just from then, um, I've just, you know, progressed. And then I've seen amazing, like, throwers. So it's really inspired me. Yeah, to that's awesome. Uh, so, so now that we're a day away from the meet, give me, give me some goals. I mean, what you, you say it's just you and a tape measure. Is there a mark you want to hit this your last high school meet, last meet of the year for you guys? Is there a place you want to get? Do you want to get to Saturday? I mean, what do you go in uh, as an expectation for yourself? What do you think? Um, well, I definitely want to go on to the second day, but I just – I'm really shooting for, like, um, a personal best, mm -hmm. especially, but I want to get over 43 okay. to 44. But I definitely want to make it onto the second day of the meet. So that's my goal. You know, I've been having some big throws in practice, you know, both of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I'm just hoping to go out there and maybe add two feet to those big throws I've had in practice. Right, which would put you in the 60s easily, right? Most likely, yeah. That, that's, that's sort of that big number, I know. Yeah, so. it's, it's a barrier, and it's a nice barrier to pass. And... Uh, I'm hoping to hoping to get there, you know, yeah. and make it to Saturday and make the final on Saturday. I mean, that's a goal for everybody. Yeah, and, and once you're there, you, you just throw well and see what happens. Yeah. Alicia, how about you? Honestly, my goal is just to be within the top eight. Of course, I would love to be top five at least. So my goal is just at least to hit 
a 145 so I could PR. But, I mean, ultimately, it'd be amazing if I could hit a 150 because I would break our school record. So Okay, so that's, nice. that's, that's a nice goal. Does Ray hold that record? Yeah, she holds Ray Blancet, who just yeah. graduated last year. Uh, okay, so, guys, we got to let you go. we got to get another crew in here, but we appreciate you joining us. Section, Central Section Champion Throwers, it's been, uh, it's been a pleasure. Greg Richardson, Alyssa Klinger, and Alicia Viveros, and uh, good luck this Thank weekend, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back. we got, uh, we got a few more segments to go, a lot more athletes to come here on B-Varsity Live.